Welcome to our countdown of the top 10 types of alcohol, from the bustling breweries of ancient Mesopotamia to the sun-drenched vineyards of the Mediterranean. The story of alcohol is a journey through time and culture. Today we'll explore the fascinating histories behind each of these beloved beverages, uncovering the secrets of their creation and their enduring appeal across the globe. Join me as we raise a glass to the ingenuity of our ancestors, who, through experimentation and tradition, crafted these potent elixirs that have captured our senses for millennia. We'll delve into the unique characteristics of each drink, from the subtle nuances of a finely aged whiskey to the refreshing zest of a classic gin and tonic. Get ready to embark on a captivating exploration of the world's most iconic alcoholic beverages, where every sip tells a story and every glass holds a piece of history. Our journey begins with perhaps the oldest alcoholic beverage known to man beer. Archaeological evidence suggests that beer production dates back to at least 7000 BC in ancient Mesopotamia. These early brewers, using rudimentary techniques, discovered the magic of fermentation, transforming simple grains into a lightly alcoholic beverage that quickly became a staple of their diet. The popularity of beer quickly spread throughout the ancient world, adopted and adapted by diverse cultures from the Egyptians who revered it as a gift from the gods to the Romans who enjoyed it as a refreshing alternative to their often polluted water. Beer has left an indelible mark on human history. Indeed, the oldest known recipe for beer comes from ancient Sumeria, etched onto clay tablets that have survived for millennia, a testament to our enduring thirst for this beloved brew. Our next stop takes us to the sun-drenched region of Andalusia in southern Spain, home to the fortified wine known as Sherry. Sherry's origins are shrouded in the mists of time, likely dating back to the Phoenicians who established vineyards in the region over 3,000 years ago. However, it was under Moorish rule that Sherry truly began to flourish, its production refined and its unique character taking shape. What sets Sherry apart is its unique aging process known as the Solera system. This intricate system involves fractional blending where younger wines are progressively mixed with older vintages in a series of oak barrels. This creates a complex and layered flavor profile ranging from dry and crisp to rich and nutty, reflecting the sherry's long maturation under the Andalusian sun. Fortified wines, as their name suggests, are wines that have been fortified with a distilled spirit, typically brandy. This process increases their alcohol content, often to between 15 and 20 percent, and imparts unique flavors and characteristics to the final product. The practice of fortifying wine dates back centuries, initially employed as a means of preserving wine during long sea voyages. During the Age of Exploration, fortified wines like Port, Madeira and Marsala became highly sought after their robust flavors and ability to withstand long journeys, making them ideal for sailors and explorers. Today, fortified wines are enjoyed worldwide, their rich history and complex flavor profiles continuing to captivate connoisseurs and casual drinkers alike. From the sun-drenched hills of Spain, we journey to the heart of Italy, to the picturesque town of Sarono, where legend has it that the beloved liqueur Amaretto was born. According to local lore, in the early 16th century, a young widow, heartbroken by the loss of her husband, found solace in creating a special liqueur. Using locally sourced almonds and a secret blend of herbs and spices, she crafted a bittersweet concoction that captured the essence of her love and loss. Amaretto, with its distinctive almond flavor and captivating backstory, quickly became a favorite in Italian courts and salons. Its popularity spread throughout Europe becoming a symbol of Italian romance and sophistication. Today, Amaretto continues to enchant palates worldwide, its sweet, nutty flavor adding a touch of Italian allure to cocktails and desserts. Our next destination takes us into the world of distillation, where fermented liquids are transformed into potent spirits. Brandy, derived from the Dutch word brandewijn, meaning burnt wine, is a spirit produced by distilling wine. This process, developed by alchemists in the Middle Ages, concentrates the alcohol and flavor compounds in wine, resulting in a spirit with a higher alcohol content and a more intense flavor profile. Brandy production soon spread throughout Europe, each region developing its own unique traditions and styles. 
From the famed cognac and armagnac of France to the fruit brandies of Central and Eastern Europe, brandy has become a diverse and celebrated spirit enjoyed neat on the rocks or as a key ingredient in classic cocktails. Our quest for liquid gold now takes us across the Atlantic to the Caribbean, the birthplace of rum, a spirit inextricably linked to the age of exploration, colonialism, and, of course, pirates. Rum is made from sugarcane byproducts, primarily molasses, which is fermented and then distilled. Its origins can be traced back to the sugar plantations of the Caribbean, where enslaved Africans first discovered the potential of fermenting molasses into an alcoholic beverage. Rum quickly became a staple of life in the Caribbean, enjoyed by sailors, planters, and pirates alike. Its association with piracy only enhanced its allure, cementing its image as a spirit of adventure and rebellion. Today, rum continues to be produced throughout the Caribbean and beyond, its diverse styles ranging from light and refreshing to dark and full-bodied, reflecting the rich history and cultural tapestry of the region. From the Caribbean, we journey to the highlands of Mexico, to the heartland of tequila, a spirit deeply entwined with Mexican culture and identity. Tequila is made from the heart of the blue agave plant, a succulent native to Mexico. For centuries, the indigenous people of Mexico have cultivated the agave plant, using it for food, fiber, and importantly, for making a fermented beverage called pulque. It was the Spanish conquistadors, arriving in the 16th century, who first distilled pulque, creating the precursor to modern tequila. Tequila's popularity grew steadily, eventually becoming a source of national pride for Mexico. Today, tequila is enjoyed worldwide, its unique flavor profile and cultural significance making it a truly special spirit. Our exploration of spirits takes us to the rugged landscapes of Ireland and Scotland, the ancestral homes of whiskey, a spirit that has captured the hearts and palates of millions around the world. Whiskey, derived from the Gaelic phrase, Uiste Beata, meaning water of life, is made from fermented grain mash, typically barley, corn, or rye. Its origins are shrouded in myth and legend, but it is believed to have been developed by Celtic monks who brought distilling techniques to Ireland and Scotland in the early Middle Ages. Whiskey quickly became an integral part of Irish and Scottish culture, its production spreading throughout these lands and eventually across the globe. Today, whiskey is produced in countless countries, each region putting its own unique spin on this beloved spirit. From the smoky, peaty single malts of Scotland to the smooth, mellow bourbons of Kentucky, the world of whiskey offers a diverse and fascinating tapestry of flavors and traditions. Our journey now takes us eastward to the vast plains and icy landscapes of Eastern Europe, the birthplace of vodka, a spirit renowned for its purity and versatility. Vodka, derived from the Slavic word voda, meaning water, is traditionally made from fermented grains such as rye, wheat, or potatoes. Its origins can be traced back to medieval Poland and Russia, where it was initially used for medicinal purposes. Vodka's neutral flavor profile and ability to be distilled to high proof made it ideal for use in infusions and cocktails. It quickly became a staple spirit in Eastern Europe, enjoyed neat, chilled, or as a base for a wide variety of cocktails. Today, vodka's popularity extends far beyond its Eastern European roots, its versatility and smooth character making it a favorite spirit worldwide. Our final destination takes us back to the familiar shores of Europe, this time to the Netherlands, where gin, a spirit infused with the flavors of juniper berries and other botanicals, first emerged. Gin's origins can be traced back to the 17th century, when Dutch physicians began experimenting with juniper berries known for their medicinal properties. They discovered that distilling juniper berries with alcohol created a spirit that was not only palatable, but also believed to have health benefits. Gin quickly gained popularity, spreading from the Netherlands to England, where it became the drink of choice for both the aristocracy and the working class. The 18th century saw the rise of the gin craze in England, a period of widespread gin consumption and social upheaval. Today, gin has shed its tumultuous past and has experienced a resurgence in popularity, 
its versatility and refreshing character making it a favorite among cocktail enthusiasts and casual drinkers alike. Thanks for joining us on this journey through the history of these iconic alcoholic beverages. From the ancient breweries of Mesopotamia to the modern distilleries of today, we've seen how these drinks have evolved over time, reflecting the ingenuity, traditions and cultures of people around the world. Each sip of beer, sherry, rum or gin is a toast to the past, a reminder of the long and fascinating history of human innovation and our enduring thirst for connection and celebration. So the next time you raise a glass, take a moment to appreciate the rich tapestry of history and culture that has gone into creating that perfect drink.